Following Rishi Sunak's Brexit betrayal, the backbench rebel Jacob Rees-Mogg is leading the uprising against the Prime Minister with a furious attack. The fight inside the Westminster bubble continues and inside the Conservative Party, the Parliamentary Party are all over the place. The backbench Tory MPs are furious with the government and the Prime Minister betraying Brexit. In case you've missed the updates, uh, uh, the Prime Minister and the government have uh, uh, essentially admitted that they are not going to be removing the 4,000 EU laws that we still have in our statute book. They're going to be assuming that uh, they're all going to stay and they're going to go through a few hundred of them at some point and uh, amending some of them and maybe a few of them could be removed. That's absolutely disgusting and we predicted this on the channel a while ago saying you know, the way things are going they're going to obviously uh, use the excuses that uh, civil servants are lazy, that's true, civil servants are Ramonas, that's true, the House of Lords want to reverse Brexit, that's true. It's all true but it's all excuses. The Prime Minister promised that he would remove all the EU laws within the first 100 days of his premiership. So do not um, go around giving um, empty promises and lies to the public and expect everybody to be chilled about it. So, Jacob Rees-Mogg, who's uh, currently uh, one of the rebels and on the backbenchers, is not part of government anymore, he's absolutely angry about this decision. He's come out to say that the Prime Minister broke a clear promise to review or appeal uh, all the EU laws in his first 100 days. Instead, he has decided to keep nearly 90% of retained EU laws. And that's completely a reversal on the original policy. Jacob Smart continues by saying that this is an admission of administrative failure and inability of Whitehall to do the necessary work and an incapability of ministers to push this through their own department. Regrettably, the blob has triumphed and the Prime Minister has abandoned his promise. Now, there are also updates that last night in Parliament, the backbenchers of the Conservative Party uh, had a massive fight with the, with the Chief Whip and the leadership of the, the, the parliamentary, the government side, and the government ministers, and that, that turned out to become a little bit ugly. Uh, so we had a number of others obviously also kicking off. Rhys Mogg actually did also say that when Rishi Sunak resigned as Chancellor, he said in his resignation letter to Boris Johnson that he believed the public are ready to hear the truth. He then said something that people like me wanted to hear and has failed to deliver it. I'm afraid it's no good being holier than no if you then end up behaving like a Borgia, the Italian uh, dynasty and family, the criminal family essentially, <laughs> for those of you who know the reference. So we also did have other reactions. Uh, the rest of the Tory parliamentary party also hit back, accusing the Prime Minister of betrayal. According to The Sun, uh, some suggested that civil servants are to blame for the screeching U-turn. Well, it's true, but you can't keep using them as, as the excuse, as a scapegoat. Obviously, we already know civil servants are Ramonas, but you have to find a way. You, we elected you guys as ministers to sort it out. So Bill Cash said, This house is being treated in a manner which is clearly inconsistent with clear promises already made. Mark Francois uh, said uh, about uh, Kemi Badenoch, the Secretary of State, what on earth are you playing at? And this is the other thing. Obviously, Richard Sunak uh, is throwing people like Kemi and Suella under the bus. He's given them impossible jobs to do, so when they fail, it will be their fault. But people like Kemi or Suella have to become smarter. You have to do something. You can't keep just following the orders without either if you can't do anything about it, just resign and come out and tell the truth or find a way to fight back. Seems like they're just caving in at this point. It's just completely disappointing. But we're not surprised on this channel because I did predict this quite recently, saying, well, prepare for betrayal because it's going to happen. So this, uh, we've got more updates throughout the day on this issue and many other stories. Every half an hour, we're going to come back to you guys. We're going to take a quick break. I'm Maya Tusi and we are the media.